Greetings everyone and thank you again for joining me on my channel. I appreciate it again. Thank you. All right, today we're going to make southern style green beans. Oh man, it is so good. We've got uh, ham hocks and onions and garlic and uh, herbs, different things like that. Anyway, it's going to be good. So we're going to get started right now. By the way, I'm here in Gresham, Oregon, just outside of Portland. And we're making this video and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for joining me. Let's get started. All right, here we are in the garden and we're going to be picking some of these. We've got all kinds of green beans here. Look at this. This is great. Look at the amount of green beans in this garden. With the southern green beans, we're going to get the ingredients right now. And the ingredients are right down here. We've got, of course, our green beans. These are fresh from the garden. We picked them yesterday and we're going to make we're going to cut it kitchen style. They call it kitchen style cut. We're going to get that, do that. And we're going to add onions and garlic and look here. And this is a key ingredient. This is the ham hock. That's going to really give it flavor. We've got garlic buds. We've got butter and we're going to put some beef stock and chicken stock, onion. I'm going to chop that up and then we're going to cook it Come up here and we're going to cook it for a good amount of time. Ready? All right, we're going to start cooking. Now I'm going to do right a now. kitchen cut on these green beans and kitchen cut merely means it's at an angle like this, it's kind of like this. We're going to cut a bunch of them up like this. For some reason, I don't know if they taste better like that or what, but I think they do. I don't know why, but it's my imagination, of course. Of course it is. Anyway, you can buy this kitchen style, I know, with Green Giant. That's how come I came up with that. And they're kind of nice. So we're going to do that and then we're going to start cooking. All right, now we are going to put the products, the ingredients into the pan. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put butter. We're gonna put that butter right in this pan. Like that, we've got our heat on. And we're gonna do this, get it cooking. Now, we're going to put this ham hock in here. We're gonna get that going. Let it get some of those flavors put into this mixture here. And at the same time, while that's cooking, I'm just going to turn this around a little bit like this. Like what? Like that somehow. Just to kind of get flavors in there. And now we are going to put the onions and the garlic and get that all flavor. We've got our onions and our garlic all chopped up. Use the handy dandy chopper, which is quite good. It makes it easier to do. And we're going to put these in the pan. Start cooking those and getting those flavors going. And we have about a one onion and maybe three garlic cloves there about. Use your judgment, which you prefer on that. We're gonna do that. Get that going like that. Stir that up. Get those flavors really cracking in there. Oh yeah. Good. Oops, got a big one right there. We just cut that down. So after those are sauteed for, mm, I don't know, four, five, six minutes, something like that, just use your judgment on that. Get that flavor all going like that. Then we have these green beans. We cut them kitchen style. There we go. Look at that. We got a lot. We picked a lot. So we're going to cook these up and we're going to freeze them. Now we're going to dump the beans in here. Ow! Burn, burn. Got the edge of the pot. There we go. 
gonna get this all mixed to get the flavors into the beans before we put the water and the chicken and beef stock in there. Cook these a little bit. We're letting the green beans cook down probably six, seven, eight, nine minutes. Just kind of judge. Just let them cook down so they absorb the flavor of the onions and the garlic and the ham hock and all of that. All right. Now we're going to add some other th items like water and the stock, chicken stock, beef stock, salt and pepper. So we're going to come down here to the pan. And we're going to take some water, oops, and we're going to put some water in there. Put enough to cover all of the beans, the ham hock, onions, all of those things. That's good. Now, we're going to take some pepper, and I would say probably a tablespoon or more with this size. Now, there's a lot of beans here. You might just want to make it for yourself, a couple people, so you'll have to adjust it accordingly. But for this massive amount of green beans, we're going to put a lot in there. Now we're going to put some salt. And this is a matter of what your taste is. Maybe you're salt free. Maybe you don't want any salt. That's OK, too. And we're going to take some chicken stock. I'm going to put probably a tablespoon, maybe two, because that flavors it really nicely. And now we're going to get the beef stock. We'll do the same thing with that. Put that in here like this. Just like that. Get that in there. I think we've got it all in there now. So now we're going to bring this up to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're going to put a lid on it and we're going to just simmer it for a long time. Put some of this onion powder in as well. Maybe about a teaspoon half teaspoon, whatever you like. And we're going to put some garlic powder, about a half teaspoon, just like that. Stir that up. Going to let this come to a boil. And we'll talk to you in a minute. Now we've brought the beans to boil. And we're going to just boil them for a few, couple of minutes. And we're going to turn it down to simmer. We'll simmer it for a couple of hours. This is the ham hock. And you cook it until, you know, you can kind of peel some of this meat off. See here? So it can go and in, into the beans. That's fat there, but... And, and it's already peeled some off. And it'll be in here mixed in this delicious. Flavor that up good. The next step is we are going to taste it. I'm gonna dish this up. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm some ham right there and here we are with our southern style green beans looks delicious see how nice it is got some of that ham in there that ham hock which kind of peeled off and you want to make these where they're you don't want them mushy so you don't want to cook them that long but you want them where it just flavors everything okay let's go ahead and try this 
Mmm. Mmm. You know what? That's really good. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like it. It's really good. If you want, if you want something different, and that's a different flavor than just say green beans with a little salt or whatever you got on it, do this. It'll make it fantastic, fantastic flavor. And we're gonna do one more bite. I'm gonna come here. Mm-hmm, it's good. It's good. In the meantime, Thanks again for joining me, I appreciate it, I do. I appreciate every time you watch one of my videos and thank you again. Have a great day and we'll see you the next time.